We're Tom and Tracy. This is Sailing Bucket List, and this is episode 46. Our journey home from the North Channel. This is part four. So it's time to head west from Covered Portage. So we go down the Lansdowne Channel and we're heading for Little Current and then Points West. Going up to the Anchor Inn and hopefully help Roy with his broadcast. We walked up to the Anchor Inn and watched Roy have his final broadcast for 2023. We had breakfast with Roy and his wife Margaret at the Anchor Inn. Roy is a native of Manitoulin Island. His wife is of First Nation heritage. I can't think of anybody better to take us on a tour of one of the reservations on Manitoulin Island. You'll see the white buildings and that's the community of Little Kern. And then as we move a little bit, the next big island that you see is Strawberry Island. That island that you see is Haywood. You end up going the Lansdowne Channel Right about there is the Lansdowne Channel on its way to Killarney. We continue our journey west, leaving Little Current, stopping at Rouse Anchorage, and then heading up to Eagle Island. under sail only here in the North Channel in the northern part of Lake Huron. Hey Tom? Yes? What's the name of this island ahead of us to the left? Uh, that's Amadros. Amadros Island. And a little bit behind us is Bearback, Bears Back Island. We are traveling today from uh, the anchorage at Rouse to Hotham in Oak Bay. Hotham in Oak Bay. Uh, we were in there 12 years ago and something very unique happened. We don't know if that will happen again. Stay tuned to find out. Over to your right is the Quash Mountains, the McBean Channel, and Bedford Island. Very relaxed. Nice to be sailing. We've been sailing for several hours. We've seen a total of one other boat. Oh, Tom, you're looking stressed. So how fast are we moving? Right now we're doing 3.4 knots under sail. And how much wind? Uh, 8.8. .8. Uh, right now we're in Eagle Bay, Eagle Island, which is it? Well, it's a, it's a bay in Eagle Island. And our, we were scheduled to go to the ben Benjamins. And we kind of checked the weather and what did we decide? Being rational people, we needed to make a rational choice. Was it better for us to go to stop at Hotham and the Benjamins? Or should we head straight for home? Well, Tracy, I am really enjoying the North Channel. But I am always thinking about the weather. Right now, it looks like we have a weather window for the next few days. But Tom, I'm thinking expo about exploring the pink granite in the Benjamins. Wouldn't that be fun? 
I'm also thinking about those friendly cottagers in Hotham. Well, Trace, that is great, but I am still thinking about the weather. It is late in the season, so it's September. But Tom, I'm thinking about going exploring by dinghy. Trace, that would be fun. I'm still thinking about the weather, though. In fact, I'm kind of thinking about the Edmund Fitzgerald. The Edmund Fitzgerald? Tom, it's September. That gale was in November. What prompted my concern on the weather was that we were in the North Channel later than usual. Here it is September. And in September and October, conditions on Lake Michigan and Lake Huron can suddenly get dicey. We decided to head, head west toward the United States. Well, the weather's pretty mild. This is September, you know. Yeah, we do have a, a, a weather window up through maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, and then after that, we're not sure. Okay, well, let's get this engine running. Another iPad, turf water. Just check the oil. Ghost is the name of the boat. She wrote a book called Green Ghost Blue Water. About their adventures. They've been almost all the way around the world. But it doesn't get any better than right here in the North Channel. With the decision to head west made, we leave Eagle Island and head to a challenging Little Detroit Passage. As we go through Little Detroit Passage, it's very important to line up the markers, the range markers, on the port side of the boat so we can stay in the channel. Once through Little Detroit Passage, we continue west to Turnbaugh Anchorage. So we just passed through Little Detroit. Trace, what day is it? September 1. So, September 2nd. And we, we're on our way to Turnbaugh. Take advantage of this weather window. Before entering the anchorage at Turnbaugh, we each guessed how many boats we would see in the anchorage and what country of origin they would have. Well, Trace, my guess is there will probably be three or four boats off from the United States heading home. Like you, I think all the boats will be U.S. boats heading home, but I think there will only be one or two. When we entered the anchorage at Turnbull, to our amazement, there was 12 boats, all from Canada. The 12 Canadian boats were all members of a local yacht club in the North Channel, they invited us to join them on shore where they shared their delicious clam chowder. On leaving Turnbull, we headed west toward the U.S.-Canadian border and Drummond Island. So 6 a.m. Early morning departure from Turnbull Island. 
a long way to go today. We might go 45 miles. We might go 70 miles. 75, I think. If we go 75 all the way to um, Governor Bay, we're halfway to Charlotte. Well, that'll take over 12 hours. We're starting so early. You're, you yep, you're going to be turning to the right and backwards. There are three other boats anchored in here. You can hardly tell the difference between their anchor lights and the star lights. We have our deck light on for the first time ever. It's pretty useful. This map on our iPad shows coming west to the border and then around down into Drummond Island. In this narrow channel, the wind instruments at the top of our mast suddenly stopped working. Fortunately, that was pretty minor and it was the only equipment failure we had all summer. After fueling up at Drummond Yacht Haven, we head on to Government Bay. And after about six hours of sleep, we left Government Bay the next morning and headed to Charlevoix. So in two days leaving the North Channel, bucket list covered 140 miles. Here we're towing our dinghy west toward Mackinac Bridge right after sunrise. You see the crawler coming out of the harbor? Oh, uh, no. Where we're at? At uh, 1.30. Anything else coming out? No. The crawler sure looks like he's heading for the bridge. The crawler, what? Heading for the bridge. Okay. Here is a spectacular view of the Mackinac Bridge as we're heading west toward Charlevoix. Here the chart on the iPad is showing our route as we pass the abandoned lighthouse heading west. At this point in time, we had a sudden rainstorm and our wind instruments suddenly started to work again. Probably the rainstorm washed away a spider. At this point, we head south to Charlevoix. Hello, Tom. Good morning, good afternoon. You look either very tired or very relaxed. Which is it? Well, I'm a little bit of a... Bridge, go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm tired because we, we've been at it for two days, pretty strong. And I'm really relaxed because we're here. Yeah, that's good. Where were we uh, yesterday morning? Yesterday morning, we woke up at 5 a.m. in Turnbull Island. North Channel in Ontario, Canada. And where are we now? We're about uh, three miles north of Charlevoix, Michigan. What's the, what's the distance we've traveled in two days? Just about 140 miles total. Uh, from Turnbull to Drummond was about 45. From Drummond to Government Bay was 15 or so. And then today we went to Fire Government Island here, and that was about seven, 68 miles. Is that some kind of a record for us? It's a two-day record. We've never gone that far. We did, uh, on the loop, we did do 108 miles in one setting. Went to Midland, Ontario. Went to Larne, Ontario. 
Overnight, I remember how dark that night was. At least this time we did have some moonlight. Yeah, we needed that moonlight, didn't we? Why'd we need moonlight? Well, both yesterday and today, we got going and went to the 6 o'clock, really about 5.30. Yeah. And then, you know, we, had to, we were at Anchorage, Anchorage, and we had to get out of those anchorages on the way. Well, what was the pressure to get here? Well, the real pressure was the weather was better than anticipated today, but the forecast for tomorrow, the next day, and Saturday and Sunday and on and on was kind of for deteriorating conditions. You just can't trust September on the Great Lakes, can you? Yeah, let's not talk about November or anything. <laughs> well, Tom, we've gone the distance to and from Charlevoix to the North Channel and back several times now. Next year, let's do it again, but stay longer. Two weeks this year just whet my appetite. Well, Trace, I do agree. Two weeks was not quite enough, but we got back safely. And this concludes episode 46, our journey to the North Channel, part four. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and subscribe and leave us a comment. We love comments.